Hello, good evening. Uh, not good evening. It's good day. It's good afternoon. One o'clock Tuesday. Dear audience, we are very happy to see you online with us. So this summer we have a special program: Learn Chinese in Taiwan. And today we have National Chen Gong University, Guo Li Chen Gong Da Xue, NCKU. NCKU is located in Tainan City, and Tainan is very famous in Taiwan. It's a cultural city in Taiwan, and especially Tainan City, famous food, delicious food. <laughs> so you can find all kinds of delicious、uh, delicacy of Taiwan in Tainan City. So NCKU、uh, Chinese Language Center offers very professional language courses. For international students, and in small class group, and also customized programs. If you are interested in learning Chinese, you can consider NCKU Chinese Language Center. So today we are very happy to invite、uh, Teacher Gao,、uh, the director of NCKU Chinese Language Center, to share the information about the university and about the language courses. So,、uh, Professor Gao, would you please start your introduction? Thank you very much for your kind introduction. <clears throat> I am Dr. Gao Shimei. I'm the director of the Chinese Language Center at National Chenggong University.、Uh, National Chenggong University is celebrating its 90th birthday or anniversary this year.、Um, from the name of this university, if you understand a little bit Chinese. Then that means the university of success. However, Chen Gong、uh, is、uh, the name of a national hero. So actually, that's the true origin of our university name. We、uh, name after the national hero, General Zheng Chen Gong, who defeated the Dutch from Tainan. Three hundred sixty years ago, but of course, if you come to Chenggong University, we guarantee everything will be successful. Now, I'd like to have my colleague Uriel to introduce the university and the Chinese language center, the Chinese programs, and some related information. After that, we will show you a little bit a、uh, video about. Our、uh, programs and language center.、Okay. Hello, I'm Uriel Chen from the Chinese Language Center of National Chenggong University, and I will make an introduction about our university and the Chinese Language Center. And NCKU was established in 1931 with a ranking of 234 of. In the 2021 QS World University Rankings, it is one of the key universities in Taiwan. Currently, in, in NCKU, we have around 5,000 teachers, 20,000 of students, and over 140 alumni. There are nine colleges, 41 departments. Seventy-eight graduate institutes and around two hundred student clubs. The Chinese Language Center receives one thousand four hundred students per year, coming from around fifty countries, and our students range from seventeen to seventy years old. And most of them are around twenty to thirty-five years old. We also offer credit courses for international degree students, and provide teacher training courses to local students who want to teach Chinese as a foreign language. And NCKU CLC has forty years of experience dedicated to Chinese language education, and has been accredited. By the Ministry of Education in the Chinese Language Center evaluation. Now we are going to talk about how、uh, the Chinese programs offered by NCKU CLC. 
So right now in NCKU CLC, we offer four different kinds of programs to meet different students' needs. The first one, CIDS, is designed for NCKU, NCKU International degree students. To participate in this program, you have to be an international student in NCKU degree programs. And students in CIDS program will take two hours of Chinese class per week, and each student can take up to three semesters of Chinese class and earn a total of six credits after they complete the course. As for the intensive programs, the intensive programs are called organized with American Councils for American University students. During the eight weeks of summer period, the students will take intensive Chinese classes, meet with local families and students, and take cultural excursions in Taiwan. The students are required to meet the scale of improvement after the program is finished. We also cooperated with contract in universities such as Kansai University in Japan, College of Atlantic in the United States, the University of Auckland in New Zealand, and University of Tübingen in Germany to, to offer their students special study abroad programs. Most importantly, we run seasonal regular classes for students, for any individuals who want to learn Chinese. Students can take small group class or individual class. The level of small group classes range from A to J, which is CEFR A0 to C1. And the maximum student number for one class will be 12 persons. If you want to hold a student status in Taiwan, you will need to take at least 15 hours of Chinese class per week. We also provide online small group class and individual classes for students who cannot travel to Taiwan due to the epidemic. Online programs are re recommended for students who have learned Chinese for eight months or more. In the seasonal regular classes, we offer elective classes, elective cultural classes such as calligraphy, pop song, tai chi, and Chinese painting for students to choose and let them explore the different aspects of Chinese culture. We also hold language contests, festival activities, and excursions in every quarter. We hope students can gain deeper understanding about Taiwan while they are studying in our center. Here, you can take a look about our upcoming class schedule. So the next quarter available will be autumn quarter, which starts in September 13th till November 26th. And the next two one will be our winter and spring quarter. Both small group class and individual class are available. So if you want to join us, please remember to submit your application before the deadline. Besides learning, you will enjoy a great campus life during your study here in NCKU. For example, we will arrange you a NCKU students to do the conversation partnership with you. With the local students, you can practice language and explore Taiwan in the same time. There are also great sports facilities such as swimming pool and gyms for students to use and with a reasonable cost. NCKU Library will open in 8.20 in the morning till 9.30 in the evening and it's offering you, offering you a plenty of resource and a space to study.
If you need any assistance in finding accommodation here or opening a bank account, applying for visa extension or ARC, or applying for parking permit, we are here to help you as the COC office. As for the accommodation, they are on campus and off campus and student housing available nearby the university. Please apply before each quarter starts. The rent for a single suit is around USD $170 to $240. And the exp living expense here in China will range from USD $280 to $540. As you may know, uh, MCKU is located in Tainan City which is famous for its rich history and delicious local food. There are also many historical sites nearby the NCKU campus. For example, the Confucius Temple, Sukan Tower, and National Museum of Taiwan Literature. As for the delicious food, make sure you try them during your stay here in NCKU. So, how to apply for our class? You can either apply online via our website or submit the paper application form if you would like to study our course at our center. The application is accepted quarterly and we do not have any Chinese proficiency requirements. So you can scan the QR code here to link to the application page or you can contact us by this email. As for the scholarship, there are three common scholarships available. The first one is NCKU CLC General Scholarship. And the second one will be Huayu Enrichment Scholarship. And the third one is Taiwan Scholarship. Different conditions apply to each of the scholarships. For more detailed information, please scan the QR code here or visit our website. Um, we would like to remind you that due to the academic situation, the Central Academic Command Center, CECC in Taiwan, has announced that the strict border control will continue to be implemented. Entry of Taiwan has been suspended for foreign nations who are not holding a valid ROC residence certificate. Also, the ROC overseas missions are not processing the visa application during the nationwide level three academic alert, which means that all the courses offered by NCQ CLC now will be online course. So before we open the Q&A session, we would like to share a video about our center and hope this video will give you a more a deeper understanding about our center. Mandarin language education in Taiwan for almost three decades. Each year, more than 1,000 students from 50 countries choose to study Mandarin here. We boast the highest number of full-time certified teachers in Taiwan. We offer professional, experienced teaching faculty and excellent curriculum for Mandarin learners from all over the world. We set high standards for our teachers, and they are constantly encouraged to research new methods of teaching, adapt them, and develop them to meet students' needs. Our teachers not only teach Mandarin, but also care for students and enthusiastically assist them when they are in need, especially in a whole new environment. I've been 
我觉得台湾人都对我很友善。Besides providing students a comfortable learning environment, we designed classrooms according to different learning objectives. One-on-one -on -one and small group classes are the features of our curriculum. By taking one-on-one -on -one classes, students can enhance their specific language skills, such as pronunciation and grammar with more time flexibility. Teaching materials could be varied according to students' preferences and language proficiency. Small group classes cater to all levels, from beginners to advanced. Having 6 to 12 persons per class, students would be able to learn from others through conversation, sentence drills, and discussion. Our classes emphasize student participation and student-teacher interaction. I choose to learn German in each session, we offer 30 to 35 subjects of optional classes, which heighten students' interest in linguistic and cultural learning. I hope you enjoy our short introduction and the video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to write in the chat box and we will answer you. But uh, before this presentation, we have actually collected some questions that people or students often ask. Uriel, can you show us the questions? Sure. For example, students will ask, is it difficult to learn traditional Chinese characters? And we know uh, in many areas in the world, um, simplified Chinese characters are used. So you are very nervous if you can switch to Chinese traditional characters. Okay. I think it's not, uh, uh, the, you don't need to worry at all. Uh, our textbooks have both simplified and traditional characters, so you can understand either uh, system. And Chinese traditional characters are very uh, meaningful, logical, and radical. So after a short while, you, you should get used to it. But if you like to use simplified characters, that's no problem. You can write and give your exams uh, written assignments in simplified characters. Okay, then how to apply to NCKU degree program? Uh, if you study in the Chinese Language Center, you are a Chinese Language Center student, but not a degree student. Um, but you can switch to the degree program very easily. Uriel, can you tell us how to do that? So to apply for the NCKU degree program, you can apply, you can visit the NCKU OIS website for more detailed information. And the NCKU degree program's application will be open two times per year. So the, for the autumn semester, it will be open from February to March. And for the spring session, it will be open from July to October. Mm -hmm. uh, OIA stands for Office of International Affairs. Um, they are in charge of the student application for the degree programs. Uh, in NCKU, we have, um, because NCKU is a comprehensive research oriented university, so our programs uh, split into an equal part between the undergraduate programs 
and graduate programs. So among the 22,000 students, 11,000 are graduate students, 11,000 are undergraduate students. Uh, therefore, you have many choices if you want to enter an undergraduate department or a graduate institute. Um, you probably have to show a minimum Chinese competency or proficiency level in order to register. So that's why we recommend you to come to uh, CLC to study some Chinese, maybe one semester, then you will meet the minimum requirement because some courses are taught in English, but some courses may be taught in Chinese. And anyway, you need to live in Taiwan. So you need to have survival Chinese in order to make your life comfortable and easy. Okay. So what should you prepare? Uriel, can you tell us? Okay. To apply for the courses in NCKO CLC, we will need you to prepare First, the finished application form. Second, a passport size photo. Third, a photocopy of your diploma or transcript. Fourth, a hard copy of your passport photo page. And the last one is a financial statement, which is issued within three months and shows the ending ex balance exceeding US $2,000. And all this information you can be submitted uh, through our website or by email. So how do you pay your tuition? We Here offer is. we offer four ways to make the payment. The first one is international bank transfer. And the second one will be domestic bank transfer. The third one will be credit card. And the fourth one will be payment bill. However, the payment bill will only be used in in, in Taiwan only. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you probably want to know the uh, living expense in Tainan. Uh, in the video, you have heard American students that in tai Tainan, the living expense is relatively low and very reasonable, but you can enjoy much more things than you go to uh, Taipei. Yuro, can you tell us the exact numbers? So for the exp living expenses here in Tainan, it will range from Taiwan dollar 8,400 to $16,000 per month. Mm -hmm. And in uh, Chenggong University is right in the middle of Tainan city behind the train station very very heart of the city and it has all sort of shops restaurants and uh, stores to support your daily needs and uh, we have on campus and off campus dormitory uh, Uriel can tell us more about the dormitory okay so for the dormitory we have on campus and off campus dormitories available and there are also student housings available near the university. All you need to do is come to the office and apply for the dormitory before the each quarter starts. So that we will help you to find accommodation here in NCKU or in a nearby area. Mm -hmm. And as for the cafeteria, there are also cafeteria inside the campus. Okay, uh, if you study at other universities or in the language centers of other universities, can you transfer to uh, NCKU CLC or can you become an NCKU degree students? The answer is, of course, yes. Okay, you real? Okay, so if you would like to change to NCKU CLC, you will need to confirm, first confirm your type of visa you are holding now. You, it must be the same type and the same purpose. For example, the same type will be learning Chinese or learning or studying a degree program. You will need to confirm the type first. If you need any help in 
recognizing your type of visa, you can always come to the CLC office for help. Mm -hmm. uh, some students may need extra uh, financial support from work. Yes, some international students can get these opportunities and they will get part-time job, but uh, there are some regulations. Yuriel, can you tell us? Okay. So if you like to do part-time jobs here in Taiwan, you will first need to complete a year of studying Chinese. And after you complete the Chinese learning, you will need to apply for a work permit. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, one year, not necessary in NCKU, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. The work permit uh, will be given to students who are qualified for this uh, status. And I think it's not too difficult to get the work permit, okay? Um, I have explained this uh, before using uh, traditional characters or simplified char characters. The teacher will mainly use traditional characters, but if you need, they will provide you uh, Chinese uh, simplified characters handouts and the textbooks are in both uh, written systems. So there's no problem about that. Uh, if you want to study Chinese and be a degree student, would that be a problem? Well, you can do it in the same time. Yes, you will need to apply for the course and the program separately because it is two, um, two different kinds of systems. So you will need to apply at CLC and apply for the NCKU degree program. Mm -hmm. But the degree program students can take uh, free Chinese courses two hours per semester, as we described in our introduction. But if you want to study more, or, uh, more intensively, yes, then you apply to CLC for extra uh, instruction. Oh, can you enter Taiwan now? <laughs> right now. At this moment, maybe not. I think Uriel had explained. But whenever the border is open, um, you can uh, ask for Chinese language student visa to enter. I think it will be announced by the government and we will update this information from time to time on our website. That's our show today. If you have more questions, please feel free to write to us uh, or leave your questions in the uh, FB uh, of Chinese Language Center of NCKU. Okay, we thank you very much for your watching. Bye-bye.